Talk to me a little bit about wheels and tires. I spoke with Matt Bottrell not too long ago on the podcast, and we only had time to scratch the surface of this. He was saying now a lot more of the trend is going towards the whole tire, wheel, frame, body, like looking at the totality of the whole system rather than objectively saying, hey, these are the fastest wheels or these are the fastest tires. How did you? How do you think about the, that whole setup now? <laughs> it's um, it's probably the biggest area of low-hanging fruit in current performance. The, the primary thing is the tyre because it doesn't just do rolling resistance or just do aero or just do grip or just do damping. It does all of the above. And the directions yeah. you go in for one optimization is not the same as another. And then, like you say, you add in the wheel, you add in the frame, you add in the rider, you add the course, the conditions. Is it wet? Is it dry? Is it hilly? Is it cobbly? All that kind of stuff. It's a huge optimization problem. And with my time at Ineos, we spent a lot of time and resource developing the simulation software with all of those equations built in where you could literally set up your course with all of our tires, all of our tire pressures, all of our wheels, press go, and it comes out and goes, okay, this is the time that you would ride with all of the possible setups that we have, and therefore your fastest setup is, is X. And that's kind of the level that you have to go to now, at least at the World Tour, if you genuinely want to, to compete. But then you can use that to then feed into your development cycle. So if you know that you can experience certain conditions, you can optimize around those kind of conditions as a manufacturer. But the interactions are huge. So what tire you pick on the wheel, a 25 might work great on one wheel and absolutely terrible on another, or 28 or a certain type of tire. So like you have vulcanized tires, like your Schwabe and your Continentals, and you have, you know, you call them like open tubular, like your cotton sidewalls, so your uh, Vittorias, your Specialized, etc. And they perform very different aerodynamically, but they also perform very different from a rolling resistance perspective. And then it comes down to calculating the the delta between the two. If one's really bad at high yaw, but really good at rolling resistance, is it faster, is it slower? It's, it's a bit of a minefield because you've got to understand all those aspects of your optimization equation but also it's pretty cool at the same time. Uh, and is there a way for a lay customer to start getting, like, you know, you had the might of Ineos and now you're moving across to Red Bull, which they're running Specialized. Oh, Specialized need a new tyre, actually. Turbo <laughs> Cotton must be 10 years old. Uh, 12, I think. It's London 2012 was when it was first used. 12-year-old tyre. Yeah, they need a new tyre. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't know. I think she started a week ago. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but like, how do we start to make sense of that as, you know, for me next year, we spoke a little bit off air. I'm going to come back, start training really with this kind of idea of how good can a shit cyclist be if they have access to all the best minds in cycling with, you know, John Wakefield coach me doing Hexas doing nutrition. You know, I'm sure I'll pick your brain a bit on aero stuff. But how does your lay person that doesn't have access to a world tour infrastructure start to make tire choices and wheel choices? Yeah, it's a, it's a problem but not one that's insurmountable. So I think firstly, using a good simulation software packages that are available, Best Bike Split, AeroTune, they're probably the two primary ones out there that can you can put data in, you can say, these are my CRR values, this is my CDA yaw curve. Those are the kind of inputs that you can put in and you can use that to simulate your time trial. Assuming you're doing time trial or a triathlon, road racing's a little bit harder because of a lot of complexities of you kind of riding in a bunch and then maybe you're not because you're attacking or yeah. climbing. But anyway, we'll stick with TTs for now. Or, or dropped. Or dropped. <laughs> Try not to be dropped. <laughs> Find out for you. <laughs> Your race is run. Who cares what tires really? Uh, but basically, it then comes down to taking either independent data or manufacturing data, throwing it into chat GPT and saying, this is the time trial I'm running. This is the data. It was calculated in this way. Can you normalize it for my speed, my weight, et cetera? get those numbers out. And it is a question of, of what's really, of like how, how much water resistance will you, difference will you see and what aero difference will you see. There's a little bit of weather thrown in there as well. So you need to then look at how that tire wheel behaves at your, and either you've got to go and get that date yourself at a wind tunnel or you hope the manufacturer supplies it. And to be honest, quite a few are. Uh, Park always released some really interesting data just this week on, I think they had five or six different tires on a load of their wheels. They've gone to the tunnel and looked at how they all perform and the data is freely available. Um, and that's just kudos to parkours. Um, Swiss side do something similar. A lot of the manufacturers out there are, are being a bit more open-minded because they accept that the customer wants this information and needs this information to make an informed decision. But the long and short is it, it's not a quick thing. It's not an easy thing. You need to invest time. But then if you, you do that and your competitor doesn't, you've got an advantage and all of that for you. If you enjoyed this conversation, please click up here. There's another video I know that you're absolutely going to love. And click over here and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our amazing upcoming guests.